Bonjour. I wonder what's coming up next. It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. Then the morning show starting Rebel Wilson and extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come on Nick at Night. See ya. I'm the boy to you to Tokyo, man. <laughs> Sorry, Peyton, listen, but you still can't be on the show. Just yet. We don't have a bunch of more of us left to get yet. It's week now that really you were. And now, man, I think that Peyton List is a little too uh, loopy. Wait, wait, wait. He's not loopy. He just wants some money. Oh, boy. Somebody, please, please help Peyton List out. Oh boy. Well, anyway, here's the host of the show, Mr. Ellie Kongi Muir. Ha! Welcome to Week 4 Update. I'm Ellie Kongi Muir. What's up, guys? Up. Come on, everybody. Come on. Hey, boss. Hey, Tom. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Are you feeling all right uh, tonight? Yeah, I'm feeling all right. Good. Good. All right. <laughs> Woo! Now, this week's Count of the Week question is... What are you going to do in 2024? Go over to the community tab post and leave your uh, responses uh, underneath uh, that post. No, you just answer that question, all right? Now, the theme song was composed by Dominic Mattis Piano. The color being cool, the cover lady, and the of 2004 responsible for most of the things that you're going to see in the other program tonight. And there are also our Charles Father Words. Well, so are Charles Father Words anyway, along with. Listen, be carefully, all right? Alex K. Stoon, huh? Make sure you check out his uh, GoFundMe page. William Beano, of course. Bob Corley, White Disgrace, Chris Part 2, Jazz Ratchet and Clank, Julian Villarreal, Tom to Reefy Healing Up, and Trains of the USA. Also, also, uh, William Beanham was the inaugural Grasshopper of the Year uh, for this uh, program. You know, uh, we talked about uh, that. You know, at the end of the uh, last uh, show of last year. All right, so, you know, please congratulate uh, William if you haven't uh, done so already. Now, we have a lot to get through tonight, and this is the uh, second show of 2024. So, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. What's up, what's up, what's up? Here we go, here we go, here we go. What is up? Uh, 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 what is up? 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 What's up with Peyton List? A woman who wants 2024 to be great for her. Really wants to be a billionaire this year. Wow. Who knew? Uh, she had a scene in Spider Man 2. When she was young, but her scene never made it to the big screen. Well, her scenes won't be cut anymore because Peyton wants her money. Now listen up. Her net worth is still very low. Seven million dollars. What? She needs a lot of money. Come on. She really needs a big project this year. For real. And if anybody out there is working on a big project, you know, in Hollywood, then please give Peyton List a call. Well, folks, it's time for another top eight list. You know, uh, we do this every night, you know, and let's just say that it is one of the strangest uh, parts of the show. Well, there are only a few uh, parts of the show uh, that are uh, really strange, but you know what I mean, right? MP, Pink Cat, let's go. Does everybody know what time it is? Is it time for something that involves a weeknight update? That's correct. It's time for our top eight. Yeah, top eight. You know what the top eight things are. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the top eight is going to be this time. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. Well, Ellie's going to figure it out. Yeah, Tom, it's absolutely so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Take it away, Ellie! Yeehaw! Thanks, boss. Nice category. Top eight people who Peyton List would like to make movies with in 2024. Number eight, Matt Damon. Number seven, Selena Gomez. Number six, Demi Lovato. Number five, Don Stamos. Number four, Jackie Chan. 
Number three, Maddie Smith. Number two, Courtney Mina. And number one, Jessica Kane. Really? Are we really keeping uh, this uh, weird uh, gag up in 2024? Apparently. Thanks, boys. Thanks very much. You know the draw. Hashtag week. Not the hashtag. Go for the hashtag. Go for the hashtag. Go hashtag. Spread love around. Get those things to turn on social media, please. And while you're like the same, subscribe and share with your channel. We can channel the comment section down below. But whatever you do, please don't go anywhere. We got ever got coming up. Special delivery in multiple things. Go to choir and y'all important all the time. Yes, this is going to be fun, right? So we're going to do a commercial. Uh, Great uh, folks, and then we'll be back with the real show. Come on back. This is still week now. Okay, now here it is. Goodbye, the light. Come on, you gotta push. Congratulations. Is it healthy delivery? It's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. Ah! What? It's still in there. <laughs> Take a trip aboard the Naked Night Special. Non-stop to TV land. It's like going on an all-night vacation. Good TV for the TV generation. Naked Naked Night. This is the right time to buy a carpet from Empire. Because during winter, we're what you might call motivated sellers. The truth is, it's Empire's slow season. So right now, we'll do whatever it takes to sell new carpeting. Sale prices? We'll take 20, 40, even 60% off. Installation? We'll install next day and include padding. Credit? No interest or monthly payments till July. Call Empire now. We'll make it worth your while. 588 Mr. Robert Scott and the boys! Hi, Ed! Hello, boss! How are you? I'm feeling alright. Good! Yes! Woo! I can't believe that this is the second show of the year. Yeah, I know, Ed. I'll tell you something. You know, by the end of the year, I think that uh, this show will make it uh, you know, all the way to the next level. I mean, I predict that by... The end of this year, Week Now Update will be the biggest show around. Yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it too. And right now, I have a feeling that we should look at this episode of Special Delivery. The Lookout Audition, Tom. On the lookout for a crab called the Sneaky Hermit, who has been in launch and may have accomplices. Vroom, you're getting sloppy, boss. You're all over the news now. Yes, I know I'm supposed to be looking out, but here's what I see, boss. Moron. Imbecile superheroes, more like super losers. Cutie, I guess. This equipment must be malfunctioning. Greetings, stranger. Great scum! 
What can I get you fellas? A sea cucumber? A sea cucumber split? Information about any of major supervillains? Super what? No. No, I would like two scoops of high flavor ice cream with fossil man sprinkles. Mmm. Oh, I thought you were looking for a supervillain. You know who I'm talking about? Who's getting sneaky? There's a sailor of underpants. Uh, I mean, the sneaky hermit. That's the one. And you know, he's not really here. Maybe you should check somewhere at Bergie's. Oh my bullcraps, Captain! The sneaky hermit must be at Bergie's! We should go immediately. Well, I'm not hungry for one of these, but I'm happy to go to Bergie's! Away! <sighs> well, I got rid of them for you. Well, thank you for that. It's the only thanks you'll get. Great. Thanks. Now, really. What do you want? Oh, sorry about that, boss. But yes, the heroes are gone. But don't worry. I won't fail you like that again. Ah! This isn't my fault. What can I do for you, super villains? Oh, I knew these disguises wouldn't work. What a waste of two bucks. Uh, we're looking for the Sneaky Hermit's secret hideout. The secret one? That's just over the hill there. Well, that was easy. Sure. All the signs. You can't miss it. That was wonderful. And now, the Multiverse is about to go out. Demi, hey, you say that you got a confusion. Long live Cookie, Bun Cooper, and Sean X the Hedgehog. Come to our lab, yo, we can do an experiment. Long live Cookie, Bun Cooper, and Sean X the Hedgehog. We can do anything for our friends. And they Charles and Jim are very happy with our adventures. Since Scratch murdered Charles and Jim are Long live Cookie Bunk Cooper and Sonic the Hedgehog. Now we must protect Fiona since she has PTSD. Long live Cookie Bunk Cooper and Sonic the Hedgehog. Now that my niece have we fighting for good. And now Fiona has PTSD no more, yeah. Long live Cookie Bunk Cooper and Sonic the Hedgehog. Do you call me the Crockett? How's your Crockett Sprunkish Do you wish to keep me before me? Where we found the adventures, we sought it out for you. Long live Cookie Bun Cooper and Sonic the Hedgehog. He's a genius, he's a good one. And Eugene's top coach now. Long live Cookie Bun Cooper and Sonic the Hedgehog. You bet you can. That's right, it's talking time to know what Ellie is talking about. So, let's talk about it. <laughs> all right, now, listen to this, all right? You know, before Peyton List uh, made uh, big uh, with her uh, Disney Channel shows, first Jesse, and then Bunk, you know, before uh, moving on to doing 
know what, who knows what on uh, Netflix. Peyton List was just starting out in Hollywood with her first movie being Spider-Man 2. Oh, you might have heard of that one. Yes. She and her brother had been cast for a brief scene. Listen to this, all right? You know, listen to this, all right? You know, when she was just six years old, and this is true, she and her brother had been cast for a brief scene as two children on the stage. Yeah. You know, the whole thing was going to uh, boost uh, Peyton's career. However, when the movie came out, her scene was cut. You know, and it's true. Her scene was cut. Meanwhile, her brother managed to get the uh, major uh, gigs and things like that. Oh boy. That made her, you know, sort of upset. You know, I mean, he barely got paid. And now, you know, her scene got cut. Oh boy. That was insane. You know, her career uh, soon uh, blossomed, but you can't get over that uh, initial disappointment. You can never get over it. You can try, but it will just continue to haunt you every single day. You know, and that's probably why her net worth is only $7 million. Seven million dollars. Wow. Just wow. I'm sorry, Peyton. I mean, you were able to uh, get a couple of uh, gigs uh, on the Late Show with Dave Lerman and things like that before uh, you started doing some of the Disney uh, shows, but wow. That's just wow. Wow. You know, <laughs> I wonder what kind of a movie would Peyton List do next? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe uh, we could get uh, someone who kind of looks like uh, Peyton List and there will be uh, an interesting uh, movie, you know, about, you know, uh, Two uh, women who uh, look alike and things like that. Hmm. Only question is, hmm, would it actually work? Would that actually work? Hmm. 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 Ah, probably wouldn't. But it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Uh, I'll see you folks tomorrow night. Thank you so much for watching tonight. That's the news. I'm out to you. Scroll all by for all. Take a trip aboard the Naked Night Special. Non-stop to TV land. It's like going on an all-night vacation. Good TV for the TV generation. Naked Night.